everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host Scott Fry and today in the show we are beginning our fabulous series of posts on tea and tooth staining which I know a lot of you out there have been waiting for. Now this turned out to be a lot more complicated of a topic than I originally thought because tea, unlike coffee, has a wide variety of colors and shades and you can't really base your judgment on how much stain is going to be produced by drinking tea solely based on the polyphenol content. So even if a particular tea has a higher content of polyphenols, it may be producing a stain that's going to be less visible than another type of tea. For instance, white teas, which tend to have the highest content of polyphenols, produce what is more of a yellow type stain and that's going to be a lot less noticeable than the brownish black stains of black tea. Now, I want everyone out there to keep in mind that, interestingly, polyphenols do provide some additional protective benefits to your teeth by combining with your enamel pellicle, and they have a lot of other overall health benefits as well, so they're not the enemy. But fortunately, with teas, we can kind of pick and choose what teas that we want to drink uh, based on the color of stain that's going to be produced. So that way we can get the health benefits of polyphenols and kind of mitigate the amount of staining that we're going to get from drinking tea. Now, the quickest way to judge what type of stain or color of stain is going to be produced by your tea is to just simply look at the color of the tea in your cup. Now, as with anything, there are exceptions to the rule, but this method works really well, just in general. Uh, over the next couple weeks, we're going to be really diving into depth uh, on tea and teeth and staining. So stay tuned, everyone. It's going to be a lot of fun.